Amy. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint a blue flower viney kind of pattern on this porcelain glass plate. And I'm going to be starting with a flat brush, number 12, and a scruffy brush, which is at a quarter of an inch scruffy, excuse me, I'm sorry, scruffy, scruffy brush, excuse me, goodness. And uh, the paints that I will be using are Midnight, which is a, like a bluish, really dark blue, Sunflower, Thicket, and School Bus Yellow. These are all folk art paints, anywhere from enamel to multi-surface. I use a mixture. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by doing the actual vine that I'm going to paint. And I'm going to start down here at the bottom and then just kind of wiggling it up, up like that. Starting down at the bottom again. Now this plate that I'm doing this on is just intended for creating videos with. It's not something I'm selling. Just showing you the design. And then I'm going to veer off here a little bit with the little stem or little, I don't want to say stem, but a little, uh, my goodness. Well, maybe, so, maybe it is a stem. I don't know. Uh, just a little branch kind of to put some flowers on. Maybe have one coming down like that. All right, so what I'm going to do is use the flat brush to make the blue flowers. All right, so I'm actually going to be sticking my flat brush into the midnight. Oh, and I forgot to say wicker white too. I am using wicker white as well. I just realized that once I started tapping some on the plate here, wicker white. So I'm going to basically double load my brush with the midnight and the wicker white. And when you're loading your brush, you're supposed to have paint at least three quarters of the way up the bristle as much as possible. And so I double loaded it. So I'm going to start, first of all, I'm going to pull some of these in just to make, I want to make a kind of like a few buds kind of deal here. And then I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. And it's just up on the chisel edge. And then I just press and pull. I'm pressing down so that I get a nice thick wide um, stroke and not a, not a real thin petal. Alright, so then I'm going to go over here and do another one. And just keep pulling them. And pull some up in the air. Just real easy. Very, very easy stroke. So on the creation of this flower, I'm actually putting two of these strokes right next to each other. So I'm pushing and pulling and putting them right next to each other. Pushing and pulling. Just like that. And then I'll go back and do it again. They're right next to each other. See each other. And you can spread out, after you've done two of them together, you can spread them out a little bit. And I do like to overlap. And that gives it more of a natural look. Sorry. Excuse me on that. All right. So 
just keep going like I said. Very easy. Very easy. And then I'm going to come down here. I want it to be like I have the back side of one showing here. <coughs> I'm sorry, all of a sudden I'm getting a tickle in my throat. I'm so sorry. I was fine until I started this video. Say, Dag Nabbit. This is going to be another one that's um, a back view as well. Okay, and I have my odds going on here. Many of you watch me, you know that I definitely like that. Odd numbers. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is start adding in some leaves. And I'm using the thicket and the sunflower. And I'll touch in some wicker white too, periodically as I'm doing this. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on our little... little partials here and I'm just taking the brush and just pulling going a little bit of granary to attach that to the stem and this one again is a little bud too a little bit bigger but I'm going to pull it into the stem And I'm just basically touching and pulling up on my chisel edge and touching and pulling. All right, let's keep going here. Now on these, because I want it to look like it's the back end of the flower, I'm just going to pull it up in here and pull it like that and put it into my stem. That's pure, purely all it is. And that way, it's just like the back side of the flower. It's kind of hanging down there. Just hanging out. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing here. Pull it in. Now this one, I might have to do a little bit differently because I already have a little piece coming out that's underneath this flower. But I want it to go into the vine so that's all I do. It's fine if I have a little piece coming out. It's great. Not a problem. Alright, so now I can go in and do my bigger leaves or I can do like one stroke kind of, I mean they're all one stroke basically, but I can do a little more thicket there. Some real easy these like right up against these and you know, make them thin. I can come out here and do more of a one. Oops, that's not not a great ending. Like that. Just come up and pull them out. Or I can pull them down. Yeah, they don't have to be the same. They can be a little bit more whimsical. They can leave a little thinner thicker, however, however you choose to do them, and you come up into it, and then I'll just pull this up into there, like that, um, and yeah, like I said, you might want to have one coming down like that, they don't, like I said, have to all go the same direction, no, they do not. You just kind of stand back and take a look and say, hey, where do I need, where do I need some leaves? Where would I typically see leaves when I'm looking at a plant? You know, where would they be? Um, then I also like to maybe come in here and add some so it doesn't just look like 
These are all just kind of thrown together. Yeah, like that. Maybe put some fillers up in here. And then I'm going to come in with my bigger wiggly leaves. And I can overlap or I can make them hit in between other leaves. I can do it either way. Pull up on it and then pull into it. And again, on these, I can be putting in a little bit of the sunflower and a little bit of the white. I'm just pushing down and I'm wiggling, and then I pull up and then I pull through. Do the same over here. And like I said, they don't have to be the same size. They can get smaller as you go down the vine or the stem. Now I'm not getting as crisp of an edge on these as I'd like to have. Um, and I also like to fill in, like when I see it like that, just so that the little stem is not bare. I'm just kind of hang in there. Yeah, like that. And come up here. And if you felt a need to fill in, you could also you know, put in some other kind of leaves too. They don't actually all have to be the little one strokes or the or the uh, you know, the, the rippled ones like I'm doing here. You can, you know, do some, where you put like a little bit of a vine and then do some fillers like that. There's just, you know, all the combinations, but I'm, I'm not going to get too crazy about that right now because I can get really crazy about leaves. You just kind of have to fill it out and know when to stop. Sometimes I have a hard time with that. I might be getting to that point now. I'll just bring it down here. Alright, to finish this off, I'll save this and I'll be able to find it. I wanted to oops, use a stylus to tap in some centers, but I think I'll just go ahead and use this nail brush actually I'm gonna change my mind here and use I guess I did have a little stylist here at one point I'm not sure what happened to it I'm gonna go ahead and take this it's like a clay ball maker also can be used for dot making. And I'm just doing to fill in the centers, just several little dots in the centers, random sizes to make them get a different center than what I typically do. Do a lot of pouncing in the centers. I think that's good. If you feel the need, you could even come back in with some light and tap in some other dots along with these. I think that just gives it just a little more interest. Tip tap, tip tip tap. And then, and then we're done. Alright, so that's it. Pretty easy. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. When you're done viewing the video, if you would kindly hit that share button and share this video with your viewers on your social network, family and friends, I would appreciate it. 
All right, again, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. And until the next time, you have a good one.